Within the past 48 hours, there's been a bunch of Cybertruck news, so I thought I'd just give you a quick update. Here are the five latest and probably the most interesting things to learn about what exactly has been going on with the Tesla Cybertruck. Why did Tesla just hire new engineers? And what is that new feature? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back to everyone else. Tesla have just hired a bunch of new engineers for the Cybertruck. And that seems a little weird considering production has already started. They're already making the vehicle, but there is a reason for that. And it's all comes down to the fact that Basically, Elon Musk is being very anal retentive, people are saying, about getting the production quality spot on. He wants the micron gaps basically between the panels to be really, really tight. So right now, you can actually get a job. They've advertised these jobs within the last few days for extra engineers to work on the Tesla Cybertruck, to basically be out on the production floor, to be checking panel gaps, panel quality, all these other things as well. I actually mentioned all the details in my other video I'll put a link in the description to that video. Air suspension. This is something I think a lot of people have been very keen on. And when Tesla said the car would have possibly eight inches of clearance because of the air suspension, being able to lift the truck right up. So you probably saw on the reveal day when Tesla used the suspension, it lowered the air suspension at the back, it heightened the air suspension at the front to make the vehicle kind of sit up like that. And the big advantage of that is that you can then put the gate of the tray down and you can drive things straight up onto the back of the bed, which is a huge advantage. There's been a lot of times where I've, I had a property in the past and I needed a ride on lawnmower for the property and I had the, the lawnmower just kept breaking down. It was a major hassle for me to get the lawnmower to the lawnmower shop to get it fixed. And this is something that would solve a lot of issues like that. Driving your motorbike straight onto the back, driving a quad bike straight onto the back like Tesla did at the actual reveal, or driving something like a ride on lawnmower straight onto the back. So the air suspension has been shown in the latest spy shots. This confirms the maximum ground clearance claims from Tesla. A lot of people said, uh, yeah, Tesla's claims are not legit for ground clearance, but it looks like they actually are. Now, I personally was very skeptical that the production version would have what Tesla said it would have, which was 16 inch ground clearance. However, Julian van der Mer says, actually, no, it does. It looks like it will have it. The latest Cybertruck images come courtesy of Aiden Guardo on X, of course, Twitter. And it gave us a chance to see that the Cybertruck's air suspension is capable of some pretty impressive lift. And this is on the near, basically the production version of the vehicle. The Cybertruck here in these images was parked out the front of Tesla's facility in Texas or nearby. And it shows you that the adjustable ride height will be a big benefit to the Cybertruck. Now we can't say exactly how high it is, but the spy shots indicate a tire size of around 34.6 inches. That's massive. Those are some big, big tires. 34.6 inches is around about 88 centimeters. And that means the estimated ground clearance of the vehicle is around 15.4 inches in this photo or 39.1 centimeters. That's just, what, 0.6 of an inch below Tesla's 16 inch claim. That's 40.64 centimeters. Now to give you some context on just how high this actually is, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392 has up to 12.9 inches, 32.77 centimeters of ground clearance. The Rivian R1T has 14.5 inches or 36.8 centimeters. So the Cybertruck actually goes very high. This is a, a probably a big advantage. I would say about half of the truck owners or pickup truck owners, ute owners that I know of, get a suspension lift, cost you a few thousand dollars depending on what lift you get, but it's not adjustable like this. This is just something that very few people do because it's very expensive to do this kind of thing. This is a pretty big advantage to the Cybertruck versus its competitors. Now, Tesla Cybertruck's towing has also been shown. It's been shown towing a pretty big trailer. And a number of images recently shared by various people who have been lucky enough to see the Cybertruck on public roads have shown the truck is capable of handling, towing, and hauling some very big loads. In this image, the Cybertruck is pulling a 24-foot trailer from ATC, who are a, a pretty well-known manufacturer of haulers, utility haulers, and trailers in the United States. 
Apparently, this journey actually started in Palo Alto in California, where Tesla used to have its headquarters, and it went to Mipitas, California, which is around a 23-minute drive. It's about 15 miles away. So it wasn't a big journey, but clearly you can see the Cybertruck is capable of pulling some pretty big trailers. Now, we don't know officially yet if the Cybertruck will be able to tow the weight that Tesla initially advertised. However, Tesla said in 2019, it would be capable of towing 14,000 pounds. That's a similar towing weight to the internal combustion engine version of the F-150 and the Chevrolet Silverado, which can tow 13,300 pounds respectively, if you buy the right version. Now, the right, the right version, the, the standard version doesn't come with 14,000 pounds of towing capacity. You've got to get a different version and an upgrade to get the towing pack, and then you can tow that weight. For the most interesting news that's been revealed in many years, in fact, I can't believe this news, it's insane. Elon Musk, by the way, had no idea that Tesla had manufactured this new Tesla product, the Cybertruck themed product. It costs $4, absolute bargain. $4, you can get a Cybertruck spoon from McDonald's. Uh, but unfortunately, this is only in China right now, which kind of sucks. I wouldn't mind my own Cybertruck spoon for $4. I'd probably put it up on the wall. I mean, hey, why not? Elon Musk had no clue apparently that Tesla have launched a cyber spoon in China, which is a $4 Cybertruck inspired eating utensil, which is a way you can eat your McFlurry. So people are joking about this, mocking this. Um, some EV websites are saying this is uh, mental that Tesla would do this. What, what are they thinking? It's so stupid. But I think it's great. It's a $4 spoon. Why not? If you want it, pay $4. It's less than the price of a coffee. Anyway. There's 50,000 of them, and apparently Elon Musk was notified about this on Twitter. He didn't know. He said it was fake news, and then someone else came along and said, no, actually, Elon, here's, a, here's the tweet from your official Tesla China page or Weibo in China. So it's real. It's legit. $4 for this Cybertruck spoon. But it is interesting that McDonald's would actually go into the effort of marketing this product. Clearly, they think this is worthwhile. Now, Tesla does, well, there is some signs that there is delays that will happen with the Cybertruck. In fact, there's three signs that the Tesla Cybertruck will be delayed to some degree. Now, what are those? Well, the Cybertruck is meant to arrive later this month after a little bit of delay, a lot of anticipation. However, some signs are kind of bubbling up that a delay could be in store for the new Cybertruck. Analysts and fans are getting anxious, apparently, that they're going to have to wait a bit longer than they thought they would. The reason for this is apparently Elon Musk has wanted to change some things about the Cybertruck. In a leaked internal email last month, Musk told Tesla employees that the Cybertruck needs to be designed and built to sub 10 micron accuracy. This demand could require um, things that are Basically, Elon is saying you need to fix things that are imperceptible to the human eye right? because the human eye can't actually tell sub 10 micron accuracy. So what does this mean? Well, getting perfection that close to micron errors has to be designed in the beginning, said Sam Furani, Vice President of Global Vehicle Forecasting and Auto Forecast Solutions. It's a much more dynamic piece of the puzzle than just telling the people putting it together. You've got to be good about putting it together. To Furani, this last minute demand from Musk is a sign that, well, production could be significantly slower than what we first thought. Officially, Tesla has not set a date for the Cybertruck launch party. Late last month, Tesla said customers could buy invitations to a Cybertruck delivery event using 30,000 referral credits. And the thing is, customers now who apparently are going to the event, who have been able to register for the event, they haven't been informed yet when it will be. So could it be delayed? That's certainly possible. Will it be delayed? Well, I actually don't think it will be. But the media is saying it will. They're kind of trying to spread the fear virus around. That's what the media love to do. Now, either way, I don't think it really matters if it's delayed for a few more weeks or even a month. I think the focus on quality, though, is very, very important. And I certainly don't think that that's a reason that um, we should say that the Cybertruck will, in fact, be delayed. It could just be the fact that um, Elon Musk is saying on the production line, we need to make sure 
every panel is perfectly made. If it's not, we need to send it back and make a new one. That could be a good thing. Yeah, it might slow production down a little bit, but eventually Tesla will figure it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.